Hi, I just thought I'd do a quick video before the events of next week. Um, not to really say anything, um, as you can probably appreciate, there's a lot of planning gone into this event. Um, yeah. Um, I just wanted to comment on one or two things, really. Um, the main one is that, like, OSA, the Scientology Office of Special Affairs, calls myself and people like me, you know, critics of Scientology, they, they say that we're hate-filled bigots. And really, we're not. I mean, just because we don't like their particular brand of criminality doesn't make us a bigot. They, the fact that they choose to call themselves a religion when quite clearly they're not doesn't make us bigots. And we're certainly not hate-filled. Um, every single person I know who's protesting about Scientology is doing it from the heart because they care about the victims who are still in this evil cult. And I'm going to use the word evil because it is. I'm sorry. So I don't want to really relate a story that, that made me laugh because um, in Scientology there's a thing called the tone scale, the emotional tone scale which has high emotions like uh, enthusiasm and so on at the top and lower emotions like hate and anger and antagonism and things like that kind of low down and once you go below a certain level you're not surviving very well and once you're above a certain level you are surviving very well and of course people like me are pretty low down on the tone scale according to them now the tone scale is such a uh, tool of control that if you were to suggest that a Scientologist was low on the tone scale, he'd immediately kind of force himself into a much higher tone level. And I've got a real life example of this that just totally cracked me up. When I was talking to um, Dermot Ryan, the world famous case supervisor, and he, I switched off my camera because I'd been filming him uh, attacking me. And when the camera was switched off, he carried on and he came to me going, I know what you are, you're an SP, you're a suppressive person, I know what you are. And I just stood there watching him and asked, why are you so hateful? And his response was fantastic, it was as though somebody had, had just like switched the mental switch in his head. And from being like, I know what you are, you're an SP, he went to, I'm not hateful. And it was just the funniest thing, because I realised what I'd done. Because I'd actually said he was low on the tone scale, he then had to appear that he wasn't low on the tone scale and that his hateful attack was actually nice. Oh dear. This is the kind of thing that we're up against. We're up against double think, as described by George Orwell in his wonderful book, 1984. We're up against people who are so thoroughly deluded by the system that they're in that they can't see that they are deluded. And this is the hardest thing, because Scientology um, claims to wake people up, uh, and the rest of us are asleep. I mean, Hubbard actually does say this in one of his um, very, very rare filmed interviews. So we're all asleep, and they're all awake. And they actually think this is true. There's no evidence for it. In fact, the evidence suggests quite the contrary. However, they're the ones who are wide awake, and we're the ones who are fast asleep. Oh, God, please. And so it goes on until it's going to be over. Well, hopefully, next week, we'll be tearing them a big hole. In the nicest possible way, of course. No, no, we're not tearing you a big hole. We're just being nice. Um, <laughs> okay, that was done for Dermot. I love you guys, you know, I really do. I mean, you Ryan brothers, you know, I mean, I, I love you as, as much as one human being can love another because I know that you're being duped and I know that, that you know, you, you, you'll be good brothers to have on our side when you realize that the whole thing is, is set up to deceive you. Um, my job, if you like, is the difficult task of actually showing you that you've been deceived. And that's not easy. Put yourself in my shoes for a minute. You know, imagine that I know something that you need to know, but you're not going to listen to me, even if I tell you. There you go. That's the kind of thing we've got. And the thing that's preventing you from listening to me is your Scientology conditioning, 
you're told you're the best communicators in the world, therefore you think you are, but you're actually not. You're told you're this, you're told you're that, but you're actually not. So Hubbard himself actually said, look, don't listen. And I'd like you to think about that. Look, don't listen. Think about that. Look, don't listen. When DM screams about the vertical stats and the highest evers and 20 times bigger than this and that, just actually have a look. Dublin Mission is no bigger than it was 20 years ago, and it's actually smaller than it was when I first started protesting. A lot smaller. Even your new building is, is smaller than your old building, so don't tell me that that's expansion, because it's not expansion. Um, sadly for you, you've chosen to back a fail religion, but I'll support you all the way when you come out, and I'll give you all the help that you need when you come out. I'll go for that cup of coffee with you, I'll listen to your tale of woe, I'll let you join exscientologistisland.org. Come on guys, we're actually all on the same side, you just don't know it yet. I'm here to help you, that's all, I'm here to help you. The conference next week is as much for you Scientologists still in as it is for anybody else. We're doing it for you. We're not doing it so the press can come and interview us. I didn't go on TV3 so I could be on TV. I'm doing it for you guys. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Look. Don't. Listen. Bye. Bye.